Now let's look at SQL constructs that allow us to formulate non-monotonic queries. A query is said to compute a monotonic function on the database state if the following holds. If we insert more rows into the database, then we do not get less rows in the result of the query. So we either get the same rows or we get a superset of the rows. However, not every query that we want to formulate is monotonic. So for instance, consider the following query. We want to find the students that have not submitted any homework. In the current database state, Bart Simpson is among these students. So Bart Simpson would be among the rows of the result of the query. However, if we insert one more row in the results table, namely we insert a result for Bart Simpson, then Bart Simpson would no longer be among the result rows of this query. So an insertion of more rows in the database has led to less rows in the answer. So this is a non-monotonic query. Using the SQL constructs that we've seen so far, we cannot formulate such non-monotonic queries. In natural language, non-monotonic behavior is indicated by statements like there is no, there does not exist, for all, the minimum, maximum. There is no and there does not exist corresponds to negated existential quantification. For all, the minimum, maximum corresponds to universal quantification. So it's clear that if you have statements like there is no homework result, there does not exist a homework result, then if you have a database state where this is true, then the insertion of a homework result will make this statement false. Also, if you have statements like for all or the minimum maximum, for instance, if we say that for all homework results, the points are at most eight, then an insertion of a homework result with 10 points would invalidate this statement. So this is the reason that these kind of statements indicate non-monotonic behavior. And in SQL, it boils down to testing whether the result of a subquery is empty. We will now have a look at different SQL operators that allow us to define such non-monotonic queries.